The Minister for National Planning and Monitoring, Richard Maru, who is also a graduate of Unitech, said the government believes that without state-of-the-art technology, university graduates will remain less competitive internationally. He said the country would raise highly job-worthy human resources for the private and public enterprises once students become proficient in using world-class equipment. The minister said he came to know that the Department of Lands and Surveying at Unitech was using outdated GNSS equipment when visiting the institution a month ago. I'm happy to say as, as planning minister we are going to continue to support our universities in, in the budget for next year. Mainly in the area of maintaining our facilities. But I think one thing that both universities and our country is, is, is falling short on is using universities to provide relevant research for us to assist with developing our country. The Global Navigation Satellite System, or GNSS receivers, form the basic requirement for teaching and research for surveying and geographic information science at higher learning institutions such as Unitech and UPNG. The Lands and Surveying Department at Unitech teaches RS and GIS and undertaking research through postgraduates with a number of PhD and master's degree students. But the teaching and research has been undertaken using outdated equipment. When, when we uh, globally see uh, the uh, market of the surveying, uh, uh, Unitech provides the only course uh, in the country. And uh, in terms of uh, the importance of the, this instrument, it is the uh, latest inter instrument uh, that is uh, uh, being uh, out in the uh, market, uh, which is uh, basically used in the mining environment and the other surveying industries. The new GNSS receivers will join the latest group of satellites from the complete galaxy of global positioning satellites operated by the US, Russia, European Union and India. The receivers would be utilized for research into mapping and earth studies related programs such as to support precise point positioning for execution of infrastructure projects on roads, dams and the land registration. The Deputy Provincial Administrator for Medang, Francis James Irara, who is currently undertaking a GIS course at the department, said that new equipment would help them to collect accurate information. This sort of information, you are making a decision on the earth, on the earth surface, on the land, uh, which means you want to develop the land, you want to do whatever you want to do on the land, you have to use this information. Because this information is based on what has been in the past, what is happening now, and at the same time it will tell you what will happen in the future. Julie Badui Owa, National MTV News, Lay.